Great walls. Okay, guys, uh, we've been doing loads of uh, Kihon recently, so we're going to do cats tonight. And because Tommy Sensei asked me to, I'm going to do Hangetsu. Hangetsu is Tommy Sensei's favorite, favorite cat of this. <laughs> so, <laughs> Tommy's just stormed off. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going to teach how to do Hangetsu that you can enjoy, Tommy Sensei. Okay, uh, guys, first of all, just start. Don't we make Zenku Stash? Every exact Then I want you to think about kind of like the, the surface area of Zenkutsu. So it's like one shoulder is wide, two shoulders long. Yeah. Uh, everybody hear me? I'm getting a lot of blank looks on that with those faces. Hands up, thumbs up if you can hear me. Oh, it's just Matthew Last that's giving me a thumbs up. Okay. Okay. So, um, so guys, one shoulder wide, two shoulders long. So it's like a parallelogram. Oh no, a rectangle. Oh. <laughs> okay, so instead of making a, a rectangle, I want you to make a square with the same surface area. So you think about half a half a uh, shoulder back, half shoulder wide. Okay, so you now make a kind of a square stance, which more square stance, right? Um, and so this is the this is the area of hangetsu dash. Uh, but also, you've not only like if you go back to same stance, you think about where your knees are pointing. Like it kind of there's a focal point in front of you. Like Zenkosash is a way of projecting your weight quite forward. Yes, yeah? so if you think about the techniques that we do in, in Zenkosash, or you can actually be the quite long, right? This one, you're bringing that focal point close to you. So your foot is coming back inside, but also your feet are pointing in. So your focal point is, is much more kind of like within arm's reach. You're not projecting out. You kind of like, if you, if you think about like making a circle with your arms, then, then that's the point, that's where your focal point is. Understand? Yes. Okay, okay, so just kind of have that, feel that shape, feel that shape. Tailbone squeeze, inner thigh muscle squeeze. You don't want to have your knees pointing out in any way. You want to be feeling, pointing in, yeah? And then from here, it's easy to make hand itch. Uh, and then show my knee. This is, like, this is, out of all the stances, the easiest to make hip rotation. Okay, sa. I mean, Zen Kusach is easy, but this is should be easier. She, Your back leg never locks out completely straight. Well, it never locks out any, in any stance, but like Zen Kusach, your, your stance is, your back leg is normal straight when you do Zen Kusach. This one's not quite straight. Okay, itch, knee, tap, chi, go, look, chi, hatch, go, jaw. Okay, good. Change, make Zen Kusach on the leg. Then again, just go through that process, yeah? So it's rectangular. Okay, a little bit back, half a half shoulder back, half shoulder wide, feet slightly in, knees in, squeeze your tailbone, get inner thigh muscle squeeze, shoulder dash. And then hand each, and shoulder, and so, and she, go, rook, shish, hatch, cup, jaw. Okay, I'm there, good. Everybody understand? That's the basic shape, yeah? So like in, in Hangetsu, like all, all like there's a few, there's a few back stances, there's one neck wash, everything else is in Hangetsu. Okay, and part of the Hangetsu, uh, like the reason why it's called Hangetsu, rather than Sanchi Dutch, like in, uh, in, uh, in Okinawa, uh, is because you're moving in this crescent shape, in this half moon shape. Hangetsu means half moon, right? So, everybody make uh, Hangetsu Dutch. Okay, then think feet are coming completely in. Like a really basic zen touch, beginner's zen touch where you're coming in, feet together, then out again. Exactly the same. So squeezing in throughout. Itch. Then keep that tailbone tucked in. In. Sa. Shi. Then of course, when you do it slowly, like there's a, there's, a, there's a tendency to kind of shift to one side and shift to the other as you go in. Try not to. Try just to squeeze that inner thigh muscle. You're going to shift slightly, but don't kind of allow your weight to go completely to the side. Squeeze that inner thigh muscle and then, then release it as egg touch. Okay. Okay, let's go backwards. Itch. Knee, squeeze them back. Inner thigh muscle, squeeze them back. She. And more. I relax. I am. Good. Have you understand? Any questions? I'll give you 10 seconds to ask questions if you have one. I have a question, Sensei. Go for it, Daryl. Uh, wait, weight distribution. Is it still weight distribution is slightly forward, like uh, 55, 45? It depends, though. If you're in Hamley, 
it's more 45, 50, it's more 55 on your back leg, 45 on your front leg. So kind of in Shizen, natural position, you're kind of 50, 50, Lib, feel like a little bit like Kibidach, uh, but like when you're in Shomidach, a little bit way forward, when you're in Hamidach, a little bit way back. Pause, thank you. Ish, uh, Suzanne. Yeah, I learned it in two different ways. Uh, some people, when before moving, they turn their feet and then they move. Yep. Others, uh, they really follow the trajectory of the direction of the front foot. So, yeah, so it depends depends on ankle flexibility. So that's probably mm -hmm. why you led to two different ways because like nobody has the same ankle flexibility. But like, so for example, like if I'm here and can't get stuck, then like this, this, this foot, my right foot has quite a lot of ankle flexibility. So I can kind of maintain that position as I do it. And so that foot hasn't moved. Whereas if, I, if I'm like stepping forward with my right leg, so my left leg forward, that my left ankle has less flexibility. So as I initiate that movement, that foot's going to slightly move to facilitate that. And so case by case, what I would say is that don't think about it. The things like that, it's much better not to think about it because uh, if you move from your center, you move from your hips, you squeeze your thigh muscles, your feet will naturally move to compensate for that. But what you shouldn't do though, what you shouldn't do, knowing that you have limited ankle flexibility, you shouldn't initiate the movement by doing that. Like if you've got really bad, like inflexible ankles, don't go one, two, because, because you're, you're kind of just uh, kind of, you know, releasing forward. You want to move through sets. So even if you've got limited ankle flexibility, still get that compression, still squeeze and allow your hip to rotate that back leg out. Okay, you understand? Okay, good. Okay, guys, let's uh, let's let's go with it. Let's start with the pattern. Okay, so so from here, left leg, left hand, nice and like slowly. Uchuke, yeah. And then back to the knee. I'm going to come forward again. Sam, she, and go. Okay, one more time. That's it. First basic, you can get two feet three times. Everything slow. Okay, again, you're in. Okay, knee, sun, she, and go, rough. Okay, I hope everybody understands because that's so, so super easy, right? Okay, so there's a couple of things I always, I always just try that for a couple of minutes, a couple of things I always should work on. Firstly, the breathing. Then again, there's loads of different ways that you can do this. Just try it this way, the way that I'm gonna ask you to do it tonight, yeah? Breathe in on the block, breathe out on the on the punch. So you're having this, I'm gonna verbalize it for this. So in on the block, out on the punch, yeah? This. In through the nose on the block, out through the mouth on the punch. That's the first thing I want you to try, okay? Second thing I want you to try is that when you are when you are preparing to block, then you are grabbing or you're making a fist. You start start from this point, and then then make a fist from your little finger. This is a grabbing fist, grabbing fist. So so your each this finger when you block, little finger first, little finger as you transition to the block. That's the second thing I want you to practice. Understand? Okay, third thing I want you to practice is that you are moving your hand and feet at the same time. So, so you're not stepping and then shifting back into the block. Only forward. This forward into the block. Forward into the punch. Everything is going forward every single time. Forward, forward. Understand? That's the third thing. And the last thing, the last thing I want you to practice Fast start, slow finish. So from here, this punch is always slow, but the initiation of the block is fast. This What is that? Four things. Let me see. Give it a go. Sensei, are the hips for the Gyakazuki? The hip yep. and the hand are, are synchronized, arriving at the same time, presumably. Yes, correct. Every, everything should be synchronized. So synchronizing into Hamni, synchronizing into Jomi. 
Okay. Okay, give it a go, guys. Couple of minutes. Any questions? Just ask. Make sure that stance is a shoulder width and a half wide. It's as wide as it is long. Okay. If you if you think it's slightly narrow, if, you, if it's anything like Zenko to Dutch, it's too narrow. Sometimes feeling that, like so, Justina, like I don't know, if, I don't think it is your camera angle, but your, your stance seems to be longer than it is wider. You want a short and fat stance, not a long and skinny stance. Uh, Jin, make sure you're releasing that, that hand earlier, yeah? Release your hand quicker as you're, as you're releasing. This, you're, you're, you're stepping and then blocking, yeah? Leg and hand, the same time, yeah? Same time going out as you're breathing in. And the same time. Okay, last minute, guys, last minute. If you got any questions, ask. Then, uh, Shane, keep your back straight and head straight, yeah? Don't be turning your head as you block. Abigail, it looks like you're doing an Elvis impression with that impersonation with that knee wobbling about. Okay, keep your knee pointing, well, keep your knee straight still and pointing slightly in. That's it, that's it. Don't forget your breathing, guys. Uh, Tommy, you, you're a little bit stopping on that preparation for the Uchuke. Let it flow. Okay, okay, yeah, man, good. Okay, so like in that fast movement, right? Like people aren't quite used to breathing in fast. We're quite used to kind of breathing out quickly or breathing in quickly and then slowly out. But like that fast in to slow in is, is kind of quite important, yeah? So you want to have this, this feeling of right way through, yeah? So this fast to slow, but still in. This feeling, yeah? I don't know if you can hear, pick it up in the camera, but this, this fast rapid in, then seamlessly slowly in, and then seamlessly slowly out, yeah? Okay, from the beginning, guys, let's, let's stop. Let's go. Okay, here we go. San. Chi. Go. Okay, then we're bringing your hands back to our chest, each and forward, knee, then open, sam, and then cover, shi. Okay, one more time. So make gakuzuki. So you're making gakuzuki, and then from here, you're meeting in the middle. So this hand comes back, this hand goes out to meet it. It goes out to meet it, and you're meeting in the middle, and then you continue back to your chest. And then you push forward. And then open. And then close. Okay, good. And you are making nakanaka ken. No, ipon ken, ipon ken, should I say. So this shape. This shape. Okay. So okay. as you start, this gakazuki, as you start, you're pulling back to this point, to your chest. And then even though your hands are hit your chest, you still haven't finished. Then shoulders back. So it comes to your chest and shoulders back. And then from that shoulders back, your hands can separate a little bit and then push forward. And what happens there is that your elbows come in and you drive forward. So you don't, you don't go, you don't come back and go out the same way. You come back straight back, but you go directly forward. And then your hands open and a little bit dropping. So up to down and then down, up to down again. Understand? Okay, also breathing is important, yeah? So you're, you're breathing, you breathe out. Then from here, this. So again, this in, out, in, out. Okay, understand? Okay, give it a go, guys. Any questions, just ask. Let me see what you're doing. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, yeah, mate, guys, like, Tor's doing it, but I think, a few, like, Ruth's just done it as well. Like, maybe a few of you are doing it. Like, when I say, you know, drop your, like, I don't mean drop your elbows like this, like, you know, don't do that, right? Like, have this sense that you're, you're trying to get your elbows kind of behind that, that uh, kind of driving fist as quick as possible, yeah? So not this, kind of, because, like, that's too much and you break this line, right? You want to you want to try to maintain this kind of line as much as possible. At the same time, get that that, that elbow behind your your fist. So it's a kind of a difficult balance. Yeah, don't do this. Don't do this. Both are incorrect. Somewhere in the middle, as you open your chest, then this somewhere in the middle that you can drive forward. Understand? Sensei. Right. Yeah. You're sort of making like a circle there nearly with your shoulder blades, are you? To get that Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, for sure. Like a circle like this. This feeling, yeah? Us. There's a lot of this that goes on in hang -exit. This back, forward, back, forward, back, forward feeling. Not, not this way, but this way, yeah? One more minute, guys. Give it a go. If not, uh, if any questions, just ask. Make sure you, when you're pushing out, you've got that kind of correct uh, Ipon Ken, yeah? One knuckled uh, fist. Then... Linda, make sure you stop at this point. Briefly stop before you come round, yeah? Don't have this kind of like flowing from one technique to the other. You're still finishing and then finishing again, yeah? Briefest of moments. That like sense of, dare I say, sense of kime, but like more importantly, sense of connection. Get that connection, yeah? Okay, okay, yeah, mate. Good. From beginning, guys. Okay, yo Okay, it's quite awesome. Okay, we're going to step right leg directly across, right leg 45 degrees to your left. As you do, you're going to make this double block. A bit like Uchuke, right? Same thing with Uchuke, but hands open. So from this point, step across, left hand to your ear, right hand to your hip, as you cut your hips. Okay, then I'll show you from the side. So just punch, then from two, we're here, across, and this punch, yeah? This is where we are. Then from this point, Scammy uh, Okay, step forward again. Okay, each double block. Then scammy, okay. And me, double block. Ah, scammy, okay. Okay, okay, guys, I understand the difficulty of me changing directions, blah, blah, blah. So just watch. I explain the points and then we'll work through it a few times uh, in the order, in the direction that we should be doing. And then we'll, I'll leave you to it, yeah? So your first one, yeah, you've, you've hit this point, your double block. Left hand to your face, right hand to your hip. And as you rotate, you're gonna turn, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna turn, but you just block. Double stop block. Okay, and then from here, full skamuke. Then again, change, double block, skamuke. Double block, skamuke. That's it, that's all you're doing. So a little bit like hian sandam, but with open hands, and then finish with a skamuke, a grab. Double block, grab. That's all you do. Understand? Of course, that's not all you're doing. Okay, so there is, what's up, Paul? Uh, sensei, with your hips, do you move your hips on the Skamiyuki? Are you yes. pulling? Sensei, pulling me, uh, that's why I said that's not all. Awesome. You have to be patient. Awesome. Okay, yeah, so that's not all. For example, you use your hips, don't you, Paul Sensei? Uh, so, what I would advise, okay, there's two ways, okay? Uh, one way is that you're turning into showman and then you pull into hammer. That's okay. Um, and certainly sometimes I've done that. 
But what I'd, I'd really like you to do is try to kind of engage your core a little bit more. So I'll show you from the side. So I'm here, I'm here, I'm gonna step 45 degrees across, and this is the first card. So you're gonna step across and ah! and then show me that at this point, yeah? Then from here, thumb out, get ready for this camera, okay? And then engage my hip, like really tight shimmy. Like it's such a subtle movement. I don't know if you can see it like on the camera, but, but like just this engaging, okay, from here, this engaging of my core as I lock on to that scabby pick. And then one more time, release, and then engaging again with my core. Do you understand? Like that's, it's a far more kind of subtle kind of internal movement rather than the superficial kind of showman, hamley. Showman, hamley. Or even, even worse, I would say, like that, I think there's some merit. I've seen some people go hamley, Showman, Hamney, Showman. I mean, it's quite a, a superficial way of moving, right? Like, try to internalize it a little bit more. So you've locked into your main Showman, but now you're kind of really super engaging your core a little bit more. Understand? Sen Sensei, can I have a question? Um, yeah. So on the block, is the thumb in before you turn yes. it into the Skamiyuki? It is. Us. Lock, yeah. grab. Got it. Thank you. Lock. Grab. Us. Okay. Also, guys, breathing, yeah? This. So. Understand? Us. Okay. Try, guys. Give it a go. Any questions, just ask. Engage your core, Tommy Sensei. Don't go off camera so you're hiding. I can watch you. <laughs> Linda, relax your shoulders. Two tenths. Yeah. You step forward. Is there a step or you just slide? In in between each of those three techniques, Sensei, to what yes. extent are you, you know, coming in and coming out again? To what extent? Say again, sorry, Matthew. Release. When do you want, sorry? In between each of the three Skambiukis, to what extent are you squeezing in before you come out again? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, mate, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, because uh, I was just asked a similar question, really. Okay, um, look, I can get to that, right? Like, okay, so you got to kind of understand that, you know, karate really kind of derives, like all karate, like originated from uh, Shurite and Nahate. Uh, and Shurite was a much more kind of rotation, uh, like uh, rotation with you, like Hamni Shoman rotation. So Shurite was, was like all about kind of this kind of whip, 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 whip. And so we get, we get kind of that rotation. Okay, and that's predominantly, it also says a Furukoshi Sensei's teacher, that's predominantly where he got his power, from, like, Itosu Sensei was Shurite, and so that's what like influenced Furukoshi Sensei a lot. However, Nahate was for creating power this rotation. So you'll see like Goju Yu, like they 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 don't really make uh Hamni Shoman, they have this this rotation. The pelvic girdles is, is doing this and coming back. So it's a much smaller movement, but it's much more about kind of driving the, the tandem, the driving the, uh, the tandem forward. And so for example, Rick Jackson says he would talk an awful lot about this in his karate. So Shotokan is a mixture of both. And, and, Naha, um, and uh, Hangetsu is predominantly this kind of Nahate feeling, that, that you're projecting your, your center forward rather than rotating. Of course, there's a little bit of rotation, but not as much as normal kata. So when you're stepping forward, right, you're still doing that Hangetsu feeling, a half, uh, half, uh, half present feeling. So, so from here, your knees touch, your elbows touch, as you get to that middle point, that middle point of squeezing, but I'm going to take your shoulder right the way through. Squeeze, chest squeeze, abdomen squeeze, and then release forward direct before engaging that abdomen again. They squeeze, squeeze, release, and then engaging that abdomen again. None of this, only this, this thing. Understand? 
Excellent. Okay. Thank you. One more minute, guys. All these are fast, yeah? Fast, fast twitch. Then con, it has to be faster, yeah? Really fast twitch, just like here on Sandan. Don't take it too slow. Then Tor, you're, you're, you're going too much kind of direct, cross, cross, cross your hands more, yeah? Then Andrea, Moon, make sure feet and knees and elbows are all coming in to, at, at that midway point, yeah? Hand gets to feeling. Okay, that's your time. Good, okay. From the beginning, guys, from the beginning. Okay, yo -y. Okay, so. Left leg, yeah, it's me, she, go, okay, step across, yeah, yeah, go, okay, so we got our left leg forward. Left leg forward, left hand down, right side up. We're going to go to our right, Uchuke. Okay, Uchuke, itch. And then knee hands, you can punch, punch. And behind us, knee left hand, Uchuke. Punch, punch. And then to our right, right side, Sam. She, go. Okay. Okay, this is super easy, yeah? We're going right, behind, right again. So we've just finished that last one. A little bit of Yoriash. A little bit of, go for this angle. Okay, a little bit of your ass, you cheek it. And punch, punch. And then behind, you cheek it. Punch, punch. And then to the front, punch, punch. Understand? That's Sensei, really super so, easy. Sensei, yep. Yep. We so we, sl we slide the three directions. I know some, some organizations teach uh, not sliding the first one, slide second one, slide third one. Correct. I think this is much more to do with the Embusen. It's much more to, to facilitate getting back to the beginning. So that's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. But uh, I always, it makes no sense to me. And I've always learned you're doing Yoriash sliding, all three of them. But recently they've changed it just for the Embusen. Okay. Plus. Okay, one more time, guys. One more time. So. You have, uh, let me see, left leg forward, left hand down, right hand up. And you just made Scabby okay. Okay, so to your right, Uchuke, it's what? Then you're in hand in that, show me that Kratzuki. Then hit by the reach, show me that knee. Okay, get this hand quickly, round it. Let me slide, yeah? Then Gagazuki, Chatsuki. And then to your right, hit. And knees down. Okay, good. Okay, one more time. I'll face, I'll face away from the camera. Yeah? So, if I started, if I started, if this was the start, this is showing, then I'm going forward and telling, and I'm going to end up facing away from the camera. So, again, my left leg forward. I'm stepping to our right. Hit, shoot, shoot, shoot. And knees down. Shoot, and go, roll, shoot, and score. Hi, Good. Have you understand? Yep. Okay. From beginning, all the way through to that part. Okay. Uh, we're obviously within the area that you've got. Let me see what you're doing. Go for it, guys. Just a couple, a couple of minutes. And a first slow. Yeah, those slows. The chuki gakuzuki. The beginning cat is completely slow. Take your time. And breathing. Yeah. Um, you may, your stance is finishing and then you're, you're blocking hands afterwards, yeah? Hand and foot same time on those blocks. You may.
that Anne, Anne and Rolf and that, that, that first, that, that double punch is chewed on. It looks a little bit too high. Yeah? It looks like you're going to Durham. Make sure it's chewed on, yeah? Then Suzanne tried to come up and down on those two punches. You're a little bit, you're a little bit kind of blocking up and down, up and down. Yeah, a little bit bobbing. Okay, I'm a good, good. Okay, that's your time. So, next sequence, yeah? Let's just practice this uh, separately, then we'll add it on. Okay, so we'll, we'll start from, we'll start from, I'll show you from, from this angle, yeah? Uh, we'll start from that arm, oh, see those last punches. Then, okay, first of all, try to, don't so much think about, like, ultimately you're gonna kind of turn and make, and make backstands as you make your racket. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. But I, I don't want you to think about kind of getting that leg forward. Like, there's a whole host of different ways that people have done this. Um, really what I want you to think about is, is getting your leg out of the way and squeezing your inner thigh muscle. This feeling. This feeling. So just for now, just practice your leg. We'll add the hands in a minute. But think, inner thigh muscle squeeze, hip rotate, body down, and squeeze them landing in back stance. Okay? And it should be that fast to slow. Fast to slow feeling. Let's say, yes. The leg when you're squeezing around, you don't pull the leg uh, far in. You have it up here. Well, there there is a moment that your your knee. You want to try to get your knee to your knee as quickly as possible, and then from there you rotate your hips and you open your leg down. But what you don't want to do. So you don't want to kind of be disconnected, nor do you want to be completely connected. Nor do you want it to come forward and then somehow kind of bring it around this way, some kind of like you know gymnastic approach. No, you want you want that feeling, that feeling as quick as possible, and that feeling, that feeling as quick as possible, and together it then sends your leg out. Okay. <coughs> Okay, once you've got that, guys, then add the hand, yeah? So, so you've just made Uchi, Kachaksu, Kachaksu. So this, this is kind of out and re replicating. What you're going to do with your leg, you're going to do with your hand. So as your leg comes up, then this comes round and down your racket. Okay? Over, tap to your racket. Try to find a good angle to show you. Like, yeah, from here. The squeeze, chest squeeze, and a thigh muscle squeeze. Everything squeeze before dropping in and down. Well, hikite, Tommy sensei, hikite, hikite. Uh, Carl, you're kind of just landing into it, yeah? Really smoothly down and transition into corporate stuff, yeah? You too, Oscar, you kind of like, okay, yeah, mate, guys, just watch, watch, like this. Like you can challenge, you can you can put yourself under so much pressure that you then lose the sense of what you're doing, yeah? So you try, you know, like when I first learned this, it was it was like just gymnastics, really. It wasn't really kind of any connection to what Hangetsu was or or what the meaning. And so you have this kind of like athletic feeling of you know trying to just land in backstands. That's super difficult, yeah. So don't like you can you can transition. You, as long as you're getting that leg out the way, out the way, then smoothly kind of transition. Yeah, so my, my foot lands somewhere here, and I'm still transitioning into that back stance. Do you understand? Rather than trying to athletically hold your leg, hold your leg, hold your leg, hold your leg, hold your leg and, and they end up kind of falling in. Okay. Okay, okay, good. Okay, so uh, let's continue, yeah? So again, from Hangetsu, okay, this first movement, shall we? Okay, yeah. 
Okay, you're in a hammy. Maintain this position. Like maintain this position and just step over knee. Okay. As you make course dash, I'm sorry, as you as you uh, transition, you're gonna go from hammy to shoulder, yeah. So and the gash UK same time, my day, uh you get under eye, uh gagzuki, ah UK. Okay, then exactly the same. Hand and foot round in. Then transition over. Okay. And then show and each my head. Get on the right hand in. Gagzuki show. Okay. 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 Guys, just, just watch, yeah. This is a few things I want to talk about. Okay, breath is important, kind of compression is important. Um, so from here. Your okay, like we've, we've done this part, yeah. So, I, actually, we didn't talk about breath this in trout. This thing, yeah. So, you're breathing in to out, this in to out, then in. So, this, this step is an in breath, and then from here, you're going to breathe out as you do. You're going to rotate your hips in a thigh muscle squeeze. You're going to make Nagashuke. And then out, out, out. Understand? So, so the breath is important. As you this in. This way. Okay? Okay, give it a go, guys. Any questions, just ask. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, guys. Then a couple of, couple of things, yeah? I mean, obviously, uh, it's really difficult. I, it's impossible for me to kind of judge how you're breathing. So, so you know, this is the breathing kata of Shotokan. So it's really worth kind of uh, focusing on and kind of acknowledging that your breathing should be a kind of an equal importance uh, to, to the movements and synchronized with the movements. So, so you're having this... Then this stepping over, this fast, this feeling, yeah? I mean, I hope you can hear me verbalize that. Uh, also, another point is that as you're stepping over and, you're, and you've made that course that you're going to do my getting, this is not just putting your hand in preparation. This is Nagash Yuke. You have to make Nagash Yuke. Then, it, of course, Nagash Yuke to the preparation of Ginan Brai, but don't just... Don't just do this and follow that course. It has to be that course before you make it on right. Understand? Yeah. Okay. Um, also, you want to have this this uh, absorption feeling. Okay. Okay. Rue's going to get his red friend. Rue. So if Rue hit me, he hit me, and I am tough, so I can be strong, so I can just tense. Tense. Okay, but that's going to get irritating after a while. This. So when he punches, like, punch. This absorption. This thing. And by breathing out, oh, I'm, I'm using his kind of energy, absorbing his energy. This thing. And then I can use that to kind of go transfer back, yeah? So this. This feeling is super important in Hangetsu. This feeling. Understand? I mean, that's really super difficult to teach and explain over, uh, over Zoom, but it's something that you should be aware of. That Hangetsu is A, about breathing, B, about uh, absorption, and then C, about the physicality of it. Okay? Okay, good. Okay, let's try. From the beginning, guys, from the beginning. Okay, okay. Each knee, sam, she, go, 
So the last one you've made this Tati Yurakan, yeah? Tati Yurakan. So don't drop your hand. Also, don't lift it too high. Just forward, forward as you make because you can get it. Forward because you can get it. 45 degrees back, then Hangetsu Giranski. Punch. And then as you initiate this slide back, start your hands. The worst thing you can do is step back and then move your hands slowly. What you want to do is prepare your hands, so you just made hand get such. As this back leg goes, get this hand back. Hand back, and then as this leg slides in, both hands out. And so I'm going to force you to slightly change angle. So you're, you're on this angle, make it zigigiri, 45 degrees. You're going to step back, and finish facing straight again. So understand? Okay, also kind of breathing equally important. So this, then breathe in on the mix as you can get it. Out on the punch. Or in on the preparation. Out on the execution. Understand? Okay, okay. Try guys, give it a go, a couple of minutes. Any questions, just ask. Of course, second kya is the gakazuki, giran gakazuki. Yep. Four, four to five degrees to this point, and then we go back. Um, like no, same then Carl, you make a zuki get a little bit more round. Oh, round fitting. It's coming a little bit too straight. Then Anna, keep control of your kamai, yeah? When you do mix your gear, don't let this hand dangle about. From here, round, ha! Because you go straight into that gap as you can, yeah? Back straight, Linda, you, and don't look down. Even though you're punching Giran, you don't look at it, yeah? Keep it back straight, just know that you're punching Giran. Good, Sensei. Yes. The timing of the last technique after the punch, 45 degrees, is it landing in Nekashirach at the same time, hands out, or is it Nekashirach slowly without your hands? Oh, pure. Okay, guys, one more time, just watch. Because this timing is, is, is A, important, and B, it really irritates me when people get it wrong. So what you don't want to do is this. Okay, you've just made, you've just made the Gakasuki, right? What you don't want to do, release that back leg, and step back into neck or as you prepare, and then move your hands kind of separately, separately to your stance, yeah? You want to have a sense that you're, you're shifting back into stance as you're pushing. Like a, a really good thing, a really good way of telling this is like, get a technique to, um, that you do slowly and try doing it in the same way quickly. So for example, a great example, a great example is Hian Yonda. Like, uh, like one of my pet hates is when people go, yeah, and they, they land in stance and they just move slowly. Like if you try to do that quickly, you're literally doing this. Like if you did it quickly, hand and foot, boom, same time. Exactly the same as what we do in the, the Anita. And so of course, slowly, it must be hand and foot, same time. Well, this is the same. If I was gonna step back and make this technique quickly, then it would be quick. And as this is shifting back, my hands are going out. So you've got to replicate that slowly. So from this here, 
As this thought releases itself, step back, get that hand back really quickly. So this is coming back quickly. And then as this foot's coming back slowly, your hands are going out slowly. And you finish the same time. Understand? Okay, one more minute, guys. Give it a go. Then, Annie, you still, as you do the Mikazuki Geri, your, your Hikite hands flying everywhere, yeah? Mikazuki Geri, keep that right hand on your hip so that you can go directly into the gap as you can. Then, uh, Sean, uh, sorry, Shane, when you're punching Giran, Gakazuki, don't look down to Giran. Make sure you're looking straight still. Back straight, head up, yeah? As Rick Jackson, uh, Rick Hotton says, he says, Head up, shoulders down, look to the infinite point. Then, okay, I mean, then guys, when we're doing this last movement, right? Kind of imagine, okay. Okay. Okay, Rue is going to try to take me down. And he's going to MMA me. Okay, okay, he's going to MMA me. And so I'm pushing him down to that point. Fuck, oh, and I'm just taking him down. Yeah, you know, I'm hitting him. And I'm like, me, come on, here, come on, go. This is my feeling, yeah? Boom, down for him. Like, you want to have that sense. Someone's trying to, what is it called? A single leg. He's trying to do a single leg take down. <laughs> okay, he's trying to take a seat on it. No, you don't! Like that, and smashing his little nose on my knee. Okay, have that sense. So you're just like, and then and slowly get that timing. Sit down, get that kind of double uh, tish off the back of the neck to the knee. Understand? Okay, okay, guys. We're going to go through it once slow, all the way through. If you've got any questions, you can ask them. And then we'll finish with swing part. Okay? Okay, you're in. Hang it. Okay, slowly, yeah? Okay. Me. Sa. She. Go. Ra. Shit. Ah. Cool. Jo. So on that very final move, the foot is coming back and the hand is going forward in order to be synchronized, isn't it? Yes, absolutely, yeah. Thank you. So you sink your, your left leg, sorry, your right leg and right hand go back, go back as you release this and then both hands as your left leg comes back. Got it, perfect, yeah. thank you. Us. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very tricky, very tricky way to, to time it, yeah. Brian. Is that a one knuckle punch on the end also? Is it all, all, sorry? Are all the punches one knuckle punches? Or are uh, no, no. The second half so, of so it's just normal, normal, take a normal punch. Like the, the double punches, Uchuke, Gakazuki, Chakazuki, they're normal punches as well. And the last Gakazuki is Kiran Gakazuki's normal punch. Well, nice. Thank you. Anything I else? A, I have a question too. Yeah, Andrea. I, when you're bringing the foot around, you said if there's a certain point that you engage your hip, and I wasn't sure how you do that. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna. Uh, okay, so you're, you're here, right? You're, you're here, and you know you've just whatever you done, punch. Then you want to, you wanna 
rotate your hip back in a thigh muscle squeeze so you get that feeling whilst getting this knee in and then that kind of rebounds and sends it out this way okay. so originally originally this original original part of this cutter was you never went forward at all someone was asher bride someone was doing that like local Komi, and you only face forward you face forward this way this was the original cutter yeah you face this way someone did a low kick you pulled it up and sent it forward so you want that still want that sense so it's about quickly rotating quickly in a thigh muscle squeeze so you pick it on your heel and dropping it flat. Okay. anything else yes please yeah go on so so in in the first part in this section and this section you're kind of opening your your chest shoulder blades are closing your shoulder blades yeah and then when when you turn and these positions you don't is that correct you, you kind of you're, you're, so, you're well yeah you're doing this yeah shoulder blades yeah. are squeezing on the preparation and opening on the execution and then it's your abdomen that's squeezing up Close. in out squeeze your abdomen which is different yeah. from oh, with okay. this 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 part there's a lot more kind of opening because obviously your hands are going sideways so you can open your chest you can open your chest more right oh. and more whereas this this you're trying to project forward so you're opening your chest but like pulling down your lats very quickly oh. you're not going oh. back you're oh. going forward feeling oh. and then and then abdomen squeeze oh. yeah it's okay oh yeah yeah got it yeah Okay, guys, let's try speed and power all the way through, everybody together. Okay, Bruce says that you can stand there. Okay, okay, all right, by count, speed and power, yeah? Okay, inch, knee, sun, chi, go, rock, chi, ha, asked about the, the Yoriash. Um, and so, like, I think the JKA took the, the first two Chuke, Nihonsuki, they took the first Yoriash out because you end up, the end the, the, the demonstration line, like if you start here, you end up kind of a little bit kind of forward and a little bit to your left. And so they took the first Yoriash out and it, it makes you end up uh, back to where you started. Then I personally don't, Take the, the first Yori Ashas out, that's how I learned it, that's how the original is, so that's what I do. But still, I want to end up at the beginning, yeah? Just for the natural kind of movement of the kata. So it's really simple. When, like these three Yori Ash, three, so you're here, and you're going to this one. The first one, Yori Ash, gone, gone. The second one, that little bit harder, Yori Ash. And the third one, not straight back, a little bit 45 degrees, it's unnoticeable. If you go a little bit 45 degrees on that last Yoyash, and it just kind of puts you back at the right point. Also, of course, you have the you have the chance of after this one from here, like if you are miles away, you can still compensate on that last Yoyash. So by staying true to form uh, of the original cutter and still trying to have that kind of modern embusen kind of uh, feel to it, you can still manage to do both. Understand? Okay. Okay, guys, that's it. Last chance. Any questions? Are you going to post this one up, Sensei? 
I see, Sorry? Record, I see you've recorded it. Is it going to be posted up somewhere? Yes, uh, we always, uh, after, uh, what we're doing with these classes now is we are uh, recording them, as you can see, and then putting them on the hdki.org website. hdki.org forward slash training online or something. I don't know where it is. But if you go to the HDKI website, there's a bar at the top saying headquarter training. You click on it and there's a whole host of videos uh, that uh, we have taught over the last month or so and we will continue to do as we move forward. Excellent. Thank you, Susie. Okay. Okay, guys, let's go. Thank you.